Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today we are taking a look at another ThinkPad. Unfortunately, we won't get to know this particular unit too terribly well because it already has a new owner. That being said, this is the T430. Now, for the diehard enthusiasts, you will note that this is not the original ThinkPad uh, seven-row keyboard that people know and love. This is when they did a more up-to-date version. That being said, this is a very good laptop to pick up on the cheap if you're looking for kind of like a project machine, and also one that if you get the right pieces and you do the right mods, you'll actually have a really powerful computer in a very small package. And here's what I mean by that. Just to give you an idea, this is a socketed motherboard, so that does mean that you can actually swap out the CPU inside. Now, there's a whole plethora of different CPUs that you can put in here. It, you could get this originally with the i7 uh, 30, or 3540M. You could also put an i7-3632QM in here if you wanted to. You could also put in an i7-3840QM in here, and these are you know decent little chips. So you do have some room to upgrade. Now, if you do any of that, there are other things that you should be aware of, like if you want to upgrade the wireless card in here, you will need to remove the whitelist from the BIOS, and unfortunately, it's not as easy as in the X220 that you've seen on this channel. To remove the whitelist is an actual hardware procedure, but it's not that complicated, and it's documented online. You will need uh, the equipment to flash it. Now, you can use a Raspberry Pi, uh, but of course you don't want to buy necessarily a Raspberry Pi just to do this one specific thing on this computer. So if there is nobody in your area, you might need to pony out the extra money. Again, it's a project machine. That is kind of the territory that we're in. Uh, but that being said, you take that uh, Raspberry Pi, you turn it into a Retroply, you play some games on it. Like There are other things that you could do with it after that you're done. If you are going to do those upgrades, it is highly recommended that you get an upgraded heatsink just to handle that extra heat that you'd be generating with those higher end chips. And I will leave an excellent article that details a whole series of mods that you can do to this machine uh, down in the description there. The author has done a fantastic job listing pretty much all the part numbers that you would need if you wanted to deck this thing out to the nines. That being said, outside of the upgrades, there is a lot to like about this particular unit. It has a MSATA capable drive bay inside, just like the X220, so if you want to put in an SSD, you totally could do that. It also has your DVD-ROM drive. However, the DVD-ROM drive is easily removable. And not only is it easily removable, but you could also get another SATA drive bay, and Lenovo has this particular part, so if you wanted to hot swap between these two bays, it's very, very easy to do. It's just two tabs. Other things to note is with standard uh, ThinkPad fare, we have access to the RAM immediately. All we need to do is loosen uh, two screws. Another thing to note is that your hard disk drive is easy to remove. It's one captive screw. This piece moves out of the way. And we can grab our pull tab here. And remove the drive. The keyboard, even though it is the newer style, can actually be replaced with the one from the older generation keyboards because it removes with the same screws on the bottom. And the connector that's located on the board is actually the same. Uh, it will require a little bit of either modification here or you just tuck it underneath the, the palm rest, but either way, this is uh, easily upgraded and removable. It also gives you access to the second piece of memory. So one is on one side of the board, one is on the other. Both are actually very, very easy to access. 
So ladies and gentlemen, in the year 2018, it's actually very easy to find one of these at a very reasonable price, even if it is a base model, because that means that you can do the upgrades to taste. You can upgrade to that 16 gigs of RAM if you so choose. You can throw in that i7 uh, quad core. You can get the heat sink. You can do a lot with this machine very incrementally, so you can get something that'll function right away for your basic computing tasks at a very reasonable price point, but you can also put a little bit of money in at a time. So if you are on an extreme budget, but you want to get that performance over time and have something that will last you for a very, very long time, you are that kind of person that doesn't need to do the next and best thing in computing technology and is very happy to use an older piece of hardware. This is a bargain deal. Uh, this particular unit actually only went for $250 Canadian, and it might be a little rough around the edges in a few places, but the internals are brand spanking clean, so even though there might be a ding here and a nick there, uh, that just gives you uh, a little bit of um, solace in knowing that this can stand up to the mil-spec standards that these laptops are tested with, and then you don't have to be afraid about babying it either. You can smack it around a bit, be the workhorse that these things were designed to be. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this sort of content, I'd highly encourage that you would subscribe to the channel. The button is right there. A lot of the stuff that I mentioned in this video will actually apply to the X220 series. As I said, this laptop is probably not going to be sticking around very long. It's going to go into a box and right off to uh, its next owner, and I really hope that they enjoy it because there is a lot of features uh, to have. You've got everything from express card slots to memory card slots, hardware switches uh, for Wi-Fi, always on USB, uh, Ethernet, hardwire, VGA, you name it, it's, it's pretty much here. I would strongly encourage that you subscribe because you never know what is going to come across my, my desk and what we can talk about and really highly encourage that if you need a basic computer, don't want to spend the money, have one of these in your area and it's in good condition, strongly consider it. And if you're one of those people that's starting into the entry of tinkering with your own uh, computers and electronics, this thing was meant to be serviced, it was meant to be taken apart, and it is highly recommended uh, by yours truly in a very large ThinkPad community. All right, I think I've gone on for long enough. I shall see you next time.